our male peregrine. He's near the nesting, potential nest site. He came off his perch about uh, 7.15. Been sleeping in late the last few days. But I think he was feeling sick. So I think the females moved on because he didn't pay her any attention for the last couple of days. It's the 17th. He come off of there about 7:15 off the perch. Yesterday he didn't come off till oh afternoon. Went on the ledge for a little bit and then disappeared for about five minutes. Ate a little something. Went back to his perch. So he did come off of here today. I came down last night. The female wasn't roosting on her regular place. So I think what happened on the 15th, being he was sick for a day or so, didn't pay her any attention, and then of course there was no gravel on her ledge where she wants to lay her eggs so those two factors considering she decided to go look elsewhere for a more suitable place to lay her eggs and a, and a suitable mate so but this is his territory the other bird watchers have seen him here for a couple of years almost three years but he's just the male that grew up and this was a the year he was able to find a mate, but he got sick and he couldn't get any gravel for his uh, nesting site, so all of it worked into where it's made a change in the plans here. So. But again, we're at the Boeing Aerospace Building in Kent, Washington. We had high hopes for a peregrine nest here, nesting project, but I uh, had a male and a female, but like I say, she has moved on now. And this is the male here. He's looking around, wondering where she's at, but see, he's been sick for about three days. He's stretching a little bit there. The sun's coming up now from behind him, so it's going to be a beautiful sunrise here. It's a little chilly. It's about 38 degrees this morning. Everybody here wants it to warm up and get on to spring. Oh, yeah, now the sun's hitting him. He's lighting up pretty good there. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better now, and uh, it's just too bad he had to be sick for a couple of days. And uh, she got discouraged and flew off, and she never came back yesterday. So I was down here all day looking. I even came down at night and checked her regular perch where she sleeps every night, and she wasn't there. So I came down early this morning in hopes that she would you know, come and land on the corner of the building like she always did, but nope, she didn't show up. So I'm afraid she's moved on, and there he goes. And she's flying right over me now. And it looks like he's going to go hunt. He's feeling good now. He's headed for the Green River, so I'll keep an eye on him. Over and out, and bye-bye.